what up nomads? In this video, I'm talking about one of the least sexy accessories for travel, but one of the most underrated, compression socks. I'll cover what they do, when you might need them, and the best brands on the market. Let's go. First off, let's talk about the science of compression socks. They do exactly what they say. They apply a slight pressure to your lower legs. This sends blood back up towards the heart and improves overall blood flow and circulation. This helps get a healthy amount of oxygen circulating in your whole body, which helps everything from your mental clarity to organ health to preventing things like varicose veins. Practically, doctors will often suggest compression socks for athletes for faster recovery and preventing lactic acid buildup. They'll also recommend it to pregnant women with swelling in their feet and legs, people with heart conditions, diabetes or circulation issues, the elderly, and people who stand a long time as well as those who sit a long time. Hikers can also benefit from compression socks. Don't think any of this applies to you. If you take a flight longer than three hours, you might benefit from compression socks. Blood clots and deep vein thrombosis can actually be life-threatening, so better be safe than sorry. Plus, when choosing your travel day socks, why not pick the ones with an added health benefit? There are typically two types of compression socks, graduated and uniform. As it suggests, graduated means there is a tighter pressure around the ankle that eases up as the sock goes higher. These ones are particularly helpful for circulation. Uniform, on the other hand, are all one grade of compression and are used mostly for muscle support for athletes. When shopping for compression socks, you'll notice that a measurement is used and it's called MMHG, which stands for millimeters of mercury. This is the standard way of measuring pressure and what you'll want to look at first when dipping your toes into compression socks. Light is eight to 15 MMHG, mild is 15 to 20, medium is 20 to 30, and firm is 30 to 40. Light is perfect for every day if you're on your feet a lot. If you have no other health conditions, I typically recommend mild to medium for travel use. The firm ones are most often used for specific medical needs. When picking a size, go with your regular shoe size first. If those feel too tight around your calves, you can try a lighter grade of compression or a different fabric. Compression socks can come in a variety of fabrics from cotton and wool to synthetics like nylon. Light compression socks can be as thin as trouser socks and pretty nondescript. My favorite type is the merino wool variety that add extra warmth and comfort. How long can you safely wear compression socks? If you're in good health, you can wear them all day. It's not recommended to wear them at night or when your legs are elevated though. When I took care of my elderly grandmother in her later years, she would have two to three pairs in rotation and I'd remove them at night, hand wash, let them dry and put on a fresh pair in the morning. One of the reasons I like Merino wool compression socks is because they dry super fast and they keep my feet comfortable and keep them from smelling as well. All right, where to buy the best compression socks? Well, the great news is they are sold tons of places. You probably have seen them around and not even noticed. The first place I would look is your local pharmacy or drugstore. Since these are a common medical accessory, you'll find them with things like knee and wrist braces, shoe insoles, and foot care. Department stores will also carry these in their sock or pharmacy sections. Target has some, as does Walmart. The best ones I've found have been from specialty sock brands though, notably Sockwell, Bombas, and Comrade. Next, you can also get compression socks at places where nurses' uniforms are sold, like figs. You can get them from sports stores or athletic brands like Lululemon or Under Armour. You can also shop maternity brands like Hatch or Stork. And lastly, travel-oriented stores or e-commerce shops are also a great place to find compression socks. I've left all of these links in the description box below to help you make a selection. Thanks for watching another Capsule Suitcase video and happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Capsule Suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.